Right, we're all gooch, all gooch, she magoo. Right, so, let's close this. First things first, boys, you need Armour 3 tools, okay? So if you go to your, you've got, first things, you've got to own. You should do, I've done that satellite rib. No, forget that. You've got to go to your library. And once you're in your library, you go to tools, down here. And as you can see, Armour 3 tools. S install Armour 3 tools, okay? And you've got Armour 3 tools installed. Go into your Armour 3 tools, right click, Armour 3 tools. Play Armour 3 tools. Okay. Now what you need is called a project drive. You need to mount that project drive. So you'd go to project and you'd mount the work drive, which would then create a temporary drive called the P drive, like this. But yours will be empty. And what you need to in here is the A3, which is Armour 3 assets, all the vanilla stuff, all the files and folders. Okay. But what you can do, you can click this again and go to extract the game data. However, when I was doing that, I was getting an error every time it just wouldn't do it so what I had to do was download on the Makiro website which is dev I'll get you the link Makiro it always takes an hour to go on, get on to I had to go on here and I had to download a program called Armour 3P which is this and every time you try and open Every time you open Armour 3P, it'll probably say you're missing uh, Rapify. So then you'd go back to this web website and you'd download Rapify and you'd set that up. And then you'd go back to Armour 3P and open it and it'll probably say you're, you're missing uh, Make PBO. So then you'd go back to that website and you download Make PBO. And you get it to a point where Armour 3P works. And then what that'll do, that'll extract all your game data into the P drive for you. So then when you go back into your P drive, Come on, motherfucker. You will eventually have the A3 folder. Okay, let me just link you this one first. Save this, boys. If you're into making maps, save this fucking link. Let's get the Twitch up. Twitch. Come on, then. So. There's the link for all the tools, yeah? And if you, if you can't... Extract the game data here. Oh shit, quick. Quick! If you can't extract the game data there, then use Armour 3P. Okay? Now once you've, once you've done that and you've got the A3 folder there, you can then open up Terrain Builder. Well, this is the error I kept getting. But forget that. Forget the physics error, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean nothing. So what I did is in your P drive, no sorry, in your where was it? In your Steam Steam Apps Common Armor 3 tools Rib is a fake, that is a virus. Yes. Yes indeed. It is called the Matthew virus. It's the most ugly and dangerous virus there is. Be careful. So in your Steam Steam Apps Common Armor 3 tools Terrain Builder terrain builder I added I pinned it to the start because you're better off start booting it from your from your somewhere else other than armor 3 tools okay so once you've got it working you go to your terrain builder and the one issue I was having guys when I was clicking and I thought it was down to that physics error that you saw then let me just open this I'm not showing you how to create a terrain from scratch, I'm just showing you how to use the tools and get the assets, etc, etc. So, <clears throat> I did it, come on, come on. When I was clicking Bulldozer, nothing was happening. So then I eventually worked out, if you go up to Tools, Tools, and you go to Preferences, Bulldozer, this one here, point it to your Steam Steam Apps comment Armour3.exe. Okay? And then once you save that, you will then be able to open Bulldozer, which looks like this. For the controls of Bulldozer, you'll have to go and just have a. I think I've got some actually here. Let me close it back down. Do, 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 do. Let's close this box down. Let's close this box. Oh shit, wrong one, dickhead. Wrong fucking PC. I'm on two different PCs. So, close that. Right. Um, what was I on about? What the fuck was I on about? Yeah, so 
once you've got bulldozer working you're nearly cooking on gas then what I was doing before I was doing this I was working on a island called actually let me just get you the controls Uh, I was working on an island, and it's, it's the only one that you can come across that's fully working, not missing any crap. And that's, oh, fucking hell, I'm using the wrong one again. It's called Stewart Island. If you want to just go for testing, this is the source you need. Stewart Island. Copy this. And that's the link for that. So then, what you do is extract that Stewart Island. And put it the folder into your P drive. See, mine's called Jackson County because I'm working on Jackson County. Yours will be called Stuart Island. Okay? Right. So now if you want to put mods into it, if you want to put as for bulldozer and controls, you'll have to go there's the controls as well, I just pasted. To put mods, you use uh, so for, for example, if we want to use the E76 buildings. So you'd have to create in your Armour 3 directory Extreme Apps Common Armour 3 As you can see I've just created a folder called App Metro Rib Inside that folder I have an add-ons folder And for example where's E76? E76 it's a PBO in here however in my P drive it's an open folder so what you do there guys is you use Extract PBO so then I'll select the E76 out of my mods click OK and then it would extract an open folder it would extract it into your P drive so then when you go say in XCAM and you added it to the map you'll be able to actually see them buildings um, and that pretty much at the minute is how to get going anyway how to get started Matthew you don't know what you're bloody on about so yeah hope that helps guys watch the VOD back sweet sweet that's all I know uh, X, then it's all X cam etc etc there's loads to it man but that's a little brief how to get get going you know um, I was close this fucking